Hey everybody, foggy day down here. We're gonna spend just a couple minutes talking about uh, shackle best practices. These are shackles, there are two types. There's a twisted type and a flat type shackle right here. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do your best not to lose these things when you're swapping jibs or genoas on the foredeck of an ensign. So shackles are a wonderful thing. Uh, we use two to connect a jib or a genoa to an ensign. This twisted shackle is what connects the tack of the sail to the furling drum near the deck. And this uh, flat or what's called a D shackle is what attaches the head of the jib or genoa to the swivel and the swivel attaches to the halyard and that's how you lift the sail. The thing about shackles is that they're made out of two pieces. There's a pin and then there's the shackle itself, sometimes called the body. And the problem is that it's really easy when you're taking them apart to drop one piece or the other and lose it. The issue, of course, is that um, these things are expensive. I think it costs us $15 a shackle each time one is lost. So we're going to try really hard not to lose them when we're changing sails up on the uh, foredeck of the ensign. So the solution to that is that we have added these strings to attach the body of the shackle or the shackle section to the pin, and the strings can be used as a safety mechanism to make sure that we don't lose either of the parts when we are either detaching or attaching a shackle. So let me show you how that might work. So if I take this string, which is about six inches long, tied with a bowline on the pin and a rolling hitch on the body, if I take that, that piece of string and I wrap it around my ring finger as I go ahead and start twisting the pin out, then no matter what happens, whenever I drop either side of this, I don't lose a part of the shackle. And so get in the habit of placing your ring finger inside this string, this loop made by the string, when you are either tightening a shackle or loosening it. So the other part of shackle use is that you want them to be tight uh, well underway. You don't want a shackle to come apart while you're sailing. So it's important to have a Leatherman on board. Many of you will have one attached to your belt. Some will have, have a Leatherman in the go bag. Uh, when attaching the shackle, um, after I've got the pin in and secure, I can now let loose of that ring finger connection and I can go ahead and make a turn, maybe a quarter turn, maybe a half turn. You'll feel it. There's a, a place at which it's not possible anymore for you to get it loose with just your fingers. And that's all you need to do to secure a, a, a shackle. Then when it's time to remove it, you'll have to do exactly the opposite. Quarter turn back, that will loosen it. I'm gonna go ahead, put my finger in that loop and finish the job. Now one little complication is that as we twist these strings, they, the strings themselves twist and can start to tangle. So if you're loosening a shackle, a good thing to do once you have it loose is hold the body and then work the twists out. And then when you're putting it back together, you'll start with a nice straight clean line. So I've moved up to the bow of the boat. I've got an, ens an Ensign Genoa uh, ready to be rigged. I'm sitting on it on the bow, you can imagine that. And I've got it set up so that I can place a shackle between the tack and the furling drum. Now, um, just so that you can imagine it, the bolt rope is over on this side, and this is the foot. So because this is a twisted shackle, I wanna make sure that this sail will actually set in that position. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have the string in my ring finger, place the shackle in its location and start to twist it into place, protecting the ring finger end. Now, of course, I got it going now so I can let go of the ring finger, finish rigging the shackle, bring my Leatherman forward, give it a quarter turn, and I'm done. And that's the process of connecting the tack to the furling drum. Now the head of the sail is not much different. Here I've got the head of a sail, I have the bolt rope situated in the right direction. I've got my shackle already, the string on the shackle already wrapped around my ring finger. And I'm gonna rig the shackle through this sail ring. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start working that pin in place. And when I have a few turns, that's the moment at which I can let go and finish up the job with my Leatherman. And I hope you've seen that. And there we go. That's how not to lose shackles on an ensign.